YouTubers and Mad fans, this is Mad Maisha. There he is, the star of the show, Ray Lewis. You can see I got all three most feared commander cards. Uh, and then my opponent has a really jack squad too. He actually has a slightly higher uh, top three cards with uh, Eric Allen and uh, Ladane Tomlinson topping out because of chemistries. Uh, though realistically, they're the same rating. Uh, but, you know, good matchup. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a... I, 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 since I've updated my team, I typically have the advantage in a lot of games. Now, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I still get opponents where I don't like this game here. So, a uh, really good game. This guy's obviously an Eagles fan too, uh, much like I am. Uh, this Eric Allen card just came out. Like, when this, when this video, when I played this guy, I think it was the previous weekend league, that card was only out for like a couple of days. So that dude must have really went hard to go get him. I don't know. Maybe you pulled him in a pack. Maybe he went out and spent a bunch of real life money. Who knows? People in Mutt, they figure out a way. So I get ball first. And uh, I got my man. Uh, I'm trying to run this right here. I'm trying to run this, this one play touchdown. Because uh, it looked like a cover three. Then it drops back to a cover two. And I throw it to LeGarrette Blunt. LeGarrette Blunt. Didn't even know he had him in the game. I mean, Laguerre Blunt, he's such a good card, though. Uh, I actually sold him, and I shouldn't have. Uh, but he's a really uh, a really good running back. I, I probably should have kept him. But I just figure since I'm working on my Daniel Tomlinson card, just like everybody else, eventually he'll get good enough uh, that I won't. You know, need a running back like that. I mean, he's already. I think my Ladainian Thomas is already to like an 87. So eventually, he's gonna be my guy. There we get a nice big toss. That's Tariq Cohen, another run player I like to do, and that's one of the reasons that I don't really mess with uh, Legarrette Blunt. There, I make a big mistake uh, trying to scramble out, and uh, Ziggy Yonsa gets me. That's probably the, the gauntlet of Ziggy Yonsa. Uh, I pretty much have every gauntlet now, with the exception of. Uh, Terrell Suggs, and I'll get him eventually too, but I'm not excited about a slow outside linebacker. So third and five, uh, you know, two huge plays to get me down down to the uh, inside the red zone, and now I'm sputtering a little bit. So we're going to roll out with my man, uh, Russell Wilson, and make a totally stupid play. That was a pick waiting to happen. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I was expecting my guy to be coming across, but I still shouldn't have lobbed it up. So I'll take the field goal. It is what it is. Not a very good play. And then this guy right here, he's got that 94-95 master, Ladanian Thomason, and he's going to put him to work. First play, uh, he goes for almost 10 yards, pretty much 10 yards, second and inches. Uh, I start to notice pretty quick that this guy only is interested in running the ball. So I'm setting a pretty good blitz there, pretty good run blitz, but my guys don't get the edge. So now I'm just kicking up at us. Third play, same formation each time. So I'm pretty much reading that this guy is going to just going to try to pound the rock. I mean, when you have a that thing, the Thompson card is pretty damn cheap. Uh, the way that he's, his spin move is just ridiculous. His stiff arm is ridiculous. So people like to overuse him and there, shut it down. I just sent, I just sent every defender pretty much and we get the stop. So here, um, I, I th I'm not sure if I made that adjustment or not. That was a great CPU play. Um, now on third and 12, we're sending the house. You're going to see that quite a bit. Two things you're going to see. Me sending the house doesn't really work out there as he hangs on to it, which is ridiculous. I think that's the most feared Larry Fitzgerald. Pretty good card. They're going to, he's going to hang on to the ball. Uh, but either way, that was pretty ridiculous. So two things, like I said, you're going to see me set in the house like I did there. And you're going to see a lot of um, a lot of contains. If I drop back, like here, you see QB contain uh, because um, Cam Chancellor at the time. Because I actually had, um, I forget the name of the safety, but he's making a big hit right here. Uh, my man, Paul Krause, that's right. I had him for a little while. Uh, fourth and two. This guy, this is such a hard to stop scheme, by the way. You see him send the house again. It's not best to send the house unless the quarterback is under center. Uh, as you can see there, it gets me in trouble. If a quarterback's under center, it's a really good play. Uh, but I was running it anyway because I just, you know, pressure's important. Like I said, if you got a mobile quarterback, you can't let them sit back there until they find run lanes because they'll gash you to death with that. So I'm definitely just sending. And look at this. Crazy. This dude just hops. <laughs> Ziggy Anza just hops over the running back. You know what I'm saying? That's just a nasty play. Ziggy Anza is great, by the way. He's an eight, the 89 overall Ziggy Anza. Can't complain. He's a really, you know, easy to get Um Heavy pass, you know, really good pass rushing uh, defensive end, uh, which can go for some premium, premium coins. So, uh, definitely somebody that everybody should pick up. 
um, you know, if, if you haven't picked him up yet, uh, do the gauntlets. Pick him up. He's worth it. He's probably the best gauntlet card out there. So here he hits me with a screen, and my man Ray Lewis, what I tell you, this guy comes in and picks off a screen pass. <laughs> like, that is insane. Who picks off a screen pass? Who house calls a screen pass? But Ray Lewis, most fear of Ray Lewis. And he's getting chased. He's an 88 speed, too. He's getting chased by Randall Cunningham. Uh, you know, nine times out of ten, Randall Cunningham will probably catch you, but uh, not today, baby. So Ray Lewis makes a house call, uh, puts me up ten nothing, which is nice. Uh, now with a minute seventeen left, you see me get the user lurk. Gotcha, bitch. And that's right, we're gonna go the opposite way again. Michael Kendricks with the house call. <laughs> Only one place separated, but it would have been back to back plays. I wish I could say that was back to back house calls, back to back uh, pick sixes, but it wasn't. There was one play in the middle there. Uh, now he's just basically, you know, I don't even know why you're running, but at this point, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people would have quit by now. 17 nothing back to back, uh, or essentially back to back touchdowns on, on, on defensive plays. But this guy's showing some character, uh, showing some heart, flipping it out to Lane Thompson. That's his only play right now, is, is just get the ball to LT. I mean, that's pretty much what he's planning on doing. He is, I mean, if you have Randall Cunningham, too, by the way, you see him throw another pick. If you have Randall Cunningham, that's typically somebody you would want to be, you know, running with, and he was just not really down for that. So here, I don't know. I probably could have, you know, he's definitely sat in the house. As you see, I just, I'm trying to run away. That was just a bad play. But um, he, I, sh I probably should have just took a knee. <laughs> that's what I ended up doing. Third and 27, he knocked me back quite a ways before I was like, you know what, I'm up. Why am I trying to put the ball at risk? And I just basically take it to the second half. So he's still running the ball, which is, you know, this guy's not showing a lot of, um, he's not showing a lot. Of, you got you got to basically show some uh, some emphasis on getting points here. So, he, yeah, he's definitely got to show a little bit more, you know, th there's not a lot of time in these games. So here, still sending some crazy heat. The play action got him stuck. And that's right, he's got to punt away. Fourth and three. Uh, I mean, once again, he probably shouldn't be going for it. People, people he's not necessarily, I don't feel like he's playing to win being down 17. Uh, but here we get a nice return too. Tree Cohen is just such a good player. And if my if my blocker didn't get in my way there, who knows? I might have been gone. Um, but Tree Cohen is definitely an MVP type of player. So here we got uh, you know Laguerre Blunt once again. I didn't even know he was in the game. I really miss this guy. I mean, I only had him for a couple of games, but he could take the ball outside. This is more way, way more than you thought a guy with that speed. I mean, he was a complete back. Uh, and like I said, I definitely wish he was still on my roster. As you see here, I flip it out to the tight end. So uh, we, I mean, we still got uh, Falk too. Falk is like the guy for as a pass receiving back. I think he might be the best receiving back. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comment section. But I think Marshall Falk, the, the 91 Marshall Falk, is probably the best receiving back. I had the 90 version. I think I'm not sure if the 90 version was faster. I really don't remember, but I know he was fast. So here we're rolling out. Not really a lot of plays. I thought I saw something. I don't know what the hell that was. Russell Wilson, though, man, he can definitely extend these plays. I mean, he was a really good quarterback. He's not my quarterback anymore, but uh, he was really getting it done. So here, second and ten. It's the, I think this is the exact same play, and I'm trying to uh, trying to you know find something. I've tried to flip it out. Just didn't have any separation. Uh, just you know, my play calling here is not working out too good. So third and ten, we're actually just going to pound the rock. Uh, I was hoping to catch him off guard a little bit, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm just going to take a field goal, go up 20 to, to nothing, and it's, it's essentially game. So you know that was, that's not the worst call. It looks like I'm mailing it in, but at this point, the guy's not quitting. So I just want to kill clock and play it safe. And now I'm up three scores. I mean, that's that's you know somehow sometimes you have to play it that way. I I have, I have little faith by the way this guy's played offense that he's going to start a comeback on me. So uh, it is what it is. So this guy here, he's still taking it out of the end zone. And he's not getting anywhere with that. So, I mean, he's just really not, you know, uh, his offense obviously is predicated on running. That's why it's more important to be a good passer than to be a good runner. I mean, it, there's times where if you can't run the ball like now, I mean, he's still run the ball, even though he shouldn't be. But there's times where if you can't run the ball, it's, it's, it's the end. You know what I'm saying? Like here, I don't know what that was. That was actually a halfback pass which I don't even know what playbook that's in. Let me know if you guys know. If there's there's a halfback pass in a playbook somewhere, I'd be really interested to know. This guy might have, like, an alternate playbook. Third and 12. And then my man Ray Lewis comes out of nowhere and busts the ball loose. That is a crazy... Hit. Fumbles don't even happen. 
for me. But that was a crazy animation where he hits him from the side, running away. Typically, you see those fumbles is when somebody meets in a hole and somebody just gets smacked. Not that way, though, man. The guy's running away, and the hit stick power is just there to finish the game. Dude quits out. Uh, really nice card. I'm telling you, I wanted to do this series about guys you need to have, and Ray Lewis is definitely a guy you need to have. So that's it. If you guys want to see more of these type of must-have player reviews, call them what you want to call them, uh, highlight footage, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button, I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much shit out. Just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.